Good morning and happy Friday. <clears throat> you know, we don't need to be taught to fear. Um, all kinds of things go bump in the night. All kinds of things go bump in the day. If you listen to the news, we're scared that the economy is never going to recover or a second rollout of the COVID pandemic. We're, we're scared that terrorists are around every corner. Uh, computer hackers are trying to steal our ID. Coffee causes cancer. You know, we tend to naturally be a little bit uh, disenfranchised from spiders and snakes and heights and public speaking and all kinds of things. Some people are scared that Johnny can't read. Some people are scared at what Johnny is reading. Um, we don't need to be taught to fear, but we do need to be taught to fear the right things or to order our fears. Today, we are moving out of the hymn, the Carmen Christi, and into the next section. Paul is not going to be able to be with the Philippians, doesn't think he's going to get back to them. He's called them to unity, he's called them obedience, and, and now he's calling on them to do something else. Verse 12, Philippians 2. So then, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed, not uh, in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Now, if you've been at Christ Church much, you've heard me cite Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 over and over and over. We're saved by grace through faith, not of ourselves. It's a gift of God, not as a result of anything we do. And, and so this might seem a little odd uh, to talk about working out our salvation. Wait, I thought it was a gift from God. Yes, and there's no contradiction here. We're not being told to work for our salvation. We're being told to work out our salvation. Uh, and the word salvation that's used here is a little bit closer to sanctification than to our justification. So our justification is the one-time instantaneous act completely done by the grace and mercy of God in which our sin, we repent and our sin is transferred to Christ's account and his righteousness is credited to our account. Our sanctification is an ongoing process in which we become more like Christ. We become more holy. We become more loving and kind and peaceful, and patient, and all those qualities that we're after. This is not a one-time event. This is an ongoing process. And while it's a gift of grace as well, we are called to be engaged in this. There's a partnership with the Spirit of God. And so Augustine said, we can't, when it comes to sancti our sanctification, we can't do it on our own, and God won't do it on his own. So the point I want you to see here today, and I'll just introduce it, is that we're called to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Now, some people push back on this, and they go, well, we're not supposed to fear God. God is loving. God is kind. God is for me. Yes, all of that is true. And others say, well, the word fear, it doesn't really mean fear. It means respect. Hmm. Look, my answer to this depends a little bit on who's asking and the context in which they're asking. I operate a little bit under the principle that uh, my job is to comfort the afflicted, but to afflict the comfortable. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little inclined to say to people who are really scared of God, no, God is for you. God is loving. God is there trust God. But I want to say, sort of across the board, that, that uh, look, when angels show up, the response of people is not, wow, this is great. It's fear. There's a sense in to be in the presence of that kind of power and that kind of goodness is just overwhelming. And so, um, look, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We need to understand how to rightly order our fears. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Today, I would ask you to consider what exactly do I fear and what should I fear? Have a good day.